What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel, Physical Media Empire, at PME Film. I'm Patrick. So guys, I'm excited, you're excited. I unexpectedly got my hands on some Jumpstart Booster Packs today. One of the best things to happen to Magic the Gathering this year, in my humble opinion. So the second print run is definitely out there, I guess. This is the first time I've seen it in a while since it first came out. I was one of the lucky people who originally pre-ordered a booster box about a month or two before its initial release when there was little to no hype for it. And I pre-ordered that booster box for $99 and I pulled a ton of good stuff out of it including Tiny Bones as well as that Phyrexian pack. But today I have six Jumpstart booster packs to share with you guys and we're going to go ahead and we're going to crack these open and we are going to take a look and we're going to check out those individual basic lands for each pack. So I'm excited. All right, here's the first one. Goblins. Love goblins. Could this possibly be Muxus? We shall see. No, Chief Train. And Goblin Goon. Okay, and then I'll go through the rest of these for you guys to see. We'll get to that basic land, which I think is that cool mountain with the horns coming out of it. If I'm not mistaken. And the instigator. The ornery goblin. Thriving bluff. And here's the unique land. Oh, that one's different. I haven't seen that one before. Yeah. All right. Pretty cool. Let's check out this second pack here. I know you guys are loving Jumpstart out there in the MTG community. It's one of the most highly spoken about products, you know, with the exception of the print run issues that they had, but the product itself is really awesome. And we have Minions. Take a look at what's in here. I think I've opened a Minions one or two before. Ooh, for our Mythic, we have the Ghoul Caller Gisa. Gisa. I don't think I've seen her before. Very cool. Which is Cauldron. And then I'll go through the rest of these for you guys to see. And also, with all the Jumpstart that I've opened, I have not seen any misprints. I think a lot of them were in the first print, but I did open a lot of the first print. And I didn't get any of those misprinted basic lands, which would have been really cool. And there's our Swamp. The Bats. And then the other basics. Some of those misprinted basic lands can catch huge money on the secondary market with the misprinted collector's community. There's a mountain and a swamp that got blended together in Jumpstart. It looks like it says Swamp Pain. And I know some people were paying three to four hundred dollars for that basic land misprint. Oh snap, walls, if I'm not mistaken. This is one of the mythic packs where there's only one type. So like for instance for doctors there's four different packs or decks I should say of doctors in different varieties but I think with walls there is only the one just like the Phyrexian. So there we have Towering Titan for the mythic. Awesome! And Assault Formation for the rare. Then I'll go through the rest of these. Green being my favorite color in Magic the Gathering. So I'm always excited to pull a pack that is green related. Crushing Canopy, love it. So the Grove, and let's check out our unique land. Oh no, I'm sorry, we got a creature here. Oh, a couple more creatures. The Roving Keep, awesome artifact creature wall. There's our unique land. With a pathway cleared through. Awesome. Okay, three more packs here to crack. We're gonna get another big one here. Maybe Unicorns, maybe Phyrexian, maybe Discarding would be cool for another Tiny Bones pull. Okay. Ooh, spooky. Alright, so nothing crazy in this one, but let's take a look. And Black Market for our Rare. And the Scythe. And then we'll go through the rest of these here. Yep, 
He's uh, shown up in a couple of these here, the Liliana's Devotee. Cage Zombie, I love that artwork. Very cool. The Dutiful Attendant. Very cool. Plague Drasalka. Oh, Sanitarium Skeleton, how I loathe the... I come across him, a lot of people play him in Arena, and he is quite useful, I should say. I've never used him, but he's pretty aggravating to go against. And there's your Swamp Unique Land for this hand. <laughs> for this hand, for this deck, I should say. Alright guys, two more. Two more Jumpstart Booster Packs. I don't know when I'll open more of this. It's been such a long time since I had seen it. Like I said, this is obviously from that second print run, but I'm sure a lot of people will buy it up. Check your local game stores, check your big box stores, because it is out there. Ooh, well read. There's a couple of these variants, and one of them does have Ristic Study. So that would be pretty awesome. Let's take a look here. For well read. Mystic Archaeologist. And read the runes. Still a good pack. The Telerian Kraken. The Professor would be proud. Telerian Com Community College. A little shout out there. Love that guy. He makes great magic videos. Okay, we'll go through this before we get to our last Jumpstart Booster Pack for today in the unexpected video that I get to share with you guys. I don't know why that one makes me laugh. It looks like the head just doesn't belong for some reason. The artwork's awesome, but I don't know, it kind of throws me off a little. Artifact creature. And there's our basic, our unique basic land, island, well read with the books. Pretty awesome. Alright, now we are checking out our last booster pack of Jumpstart. Let's hope it's a good one. Got the camera bouncing all over the place here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. And here we go, the big reveal. Oh, another spooky. Eh, not exactly what I wanted for the last one, but let's see if it's at least different from the other one that we had pulled. It is, okay, so the Ogre Slumlord for our rare in that, in this deck here. And Languish for another rare. Alright, cool, so at least it's a different pack, different version of Spooky. Still love Jumpstart, even though, actually no, Walls was great. I'm going to look that up, because like I said, I think that's one of the mythic out of the three, where there is only one for each type. I think it's Unicorns, Phyrexian, and Walls. So, if that's the case, I am pretty excited about that. A lot of the same cards from the other Spooky, the Thriving Moor, and there's that cool, unique, basic land swamp with the graveyard and the moon in the background. I like that. Andreas Roca, very nice. And then to close it out, the other basic land swamps. So, that is what we have for Jumpstart today. I'm really glad I was able to share that with you guys. Like I said, it was unexpected when I saw it, and I was pretty excited to pick up some booster packs, bring them back to the PME warehouse, and share them with you guys. So I hope everyone's doing well out there in this crazy world, and as always, we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,